Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I am coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance and we have three decks before us as we have had in the last few weeks and um, yeah we have deck one, deck two and deck three. Please make your selection and you can go down to the timestamp uh, in the description box below where you'll find uh, your reading. And so I will go right into it. So for those of you who've chosen uh, the first deck here, um, we are asking, what is our guidance? What do we need to know for this week? What do we need to be aware of this week? And uh, what is it that we need to be conscious of? And I feel it's this one here. It's the card of renewal. Um, so what I feel this has to do with is uh, that um, there is there is a new a renewal. You know, there is this feeling of there being a renewal. Um, what I want to speak about, though, is, is what the energy is like at the moment. So with the new moon this week, uh, by the way, you can access this reading at any time that you wish and... Uh, it should have the the message will be relevant, but I'm just speaking about it in the context of this week for the moment. The week that I'm uploading is um, for those of you who regularly watch these. There is a new moon this week, and it's signaling a new beginning. And this new beginning is a renewal. It is um, burning off the old, uh, washing away of the old, but really perhaps burning to ashes of the old, and. Uh, rebirthing oneself from within that fire into the new in this week and I think this has a lot to do with uh, well it will impact people's lives differently but what I think it has to do with is primarily uh, practical matters or material matters things that have to do with the world you know uh, things like uh, being punctual or, or paying your bills on time or, or getting to work, uh, but with a different attitude, or applying yourself more at work, or working harder, or actively working towards reaching your goals. Uh, and on another level that this will apply is uh, for those of you who are working on yourselves to become more freer, to become, uh, to yeah, to let yourself be free, to to work towards being unchained or un. Um, it's like an uncluttering of your life by letting go of people, by letting go of, of influences, by um, clearing out uh, situations in your life that take too much of your energy or to which you lose too much of yourself or your time in. And then you have very little for yourself. So this renewal, uh, to me, speaks of you birthing yourself and you in a purer fashion and yes we are constantly going through cycles of uh, renewal and rebirth and um, you know changing ourselves or moving through through ourselves to become uh, a better version of ourselves but um, this this card here symbolizes for you that this new beginning um, that you're going to enter into or this renewal of yourself is going to bring back a lot of power that you might have left behind or might have lost touch with uh, before and it's going to bring a certain shine to you that you've forgotten that you have had and um, with that you may feel a little bit vulnerable as you step forth in in the next few weeks or as you go along in this week but it is just a temporary feeling and it is something that will pass um, and you will be able to, you will be much clearer in yourself as you go ahead you, because you have this kind of, this, um, you come forth with an essence of authenticity and this renewal is, is guaranteeing that. And so you'll be able to focus and, and on things in a way that you, you, you haven't been able to before and therefore you will have newer solutions or different solutions ones that you may not have thought of before uh, and I feel that once again I want to mention that this does have to do with separating yourselves uh, from people it does have 
to, to do with um, moving those who are not a good influence in you outside of your life or just at the boundary of your life or at, to the perimeter of your life and so that you can allow more space for you to take up this room to be more real and to be more authentic in your own life and this renewal for me once again um, is speaking of an authenticity that's going to flow through from you one that you cannot deny one that you cannot hide away any longer one that you must walk with and you know whereas previously you may have um, hidden that and done what was expected of you well now you can't anymore now you will be walking with this authenticity that belongs to you and the number here is a 17 and it, it um yeah numerologically that could also mean an eight and i would say that this is a card um in in terms of the the, the numerology i would say that it has an aspect of being successful of having um achieve something of uh, perhaps having worldly bounty uh, um, and but for me it's the the spiritual aspect of it which is this renewal with which is this um, you birthing yourself new from this fire is um, what is the most relevant to me um, if from this card so I think those of you who've come by today and for those of you who have this option I do hope that you have a wonderful week ahead and many blessings to you all so I'm moving on now to the option um, number two I think this was the number two and I'm asking uh, what is it that we need to know for this week ahead what is it that, what is your message for this week ahead? What is it that you need to hear right now? And apologies for the background sound. Okay, so we have the bubbles. Um, and interestingly, as I was shuffling this card earlier, uh, before I began this reading, this card flew out uh, as well. This often happens. And so I kind of get an I, I get, kind of understand that perhaps this cards would come forth again. Um, but yeah, it's always nice when it does happen. So with the bubbles, what I'm feeling here is that you have a sense of yourself which is a little bit dreamy right now uh, where you are within a feeling of excitement within yourself about what you've just had, about what you've just discovered, about an un you have an understanding of yourself which has um, brought you some kind of delight. It's almost like a magical feeling that you have about yourself and it's a dreamy feeling. And if you're not having this feeling, then the advice is actually to access that of you which is magical, that of you which is dreamy, that of you which has power. And I want to say that um, don't limit yourself in the form that you need to take or the, the, yeah, the form that it takes, the way in which your dreams develop or unravel. Don't limit it. Don't try to control it. Um, I want to also suggest that this is a great time for you to do meditations, where which is unguided meditations, where you just close your eyes and you ask your spirit or your guides to lead you to where you need to go to, and you simply focus on where you're going to, and 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 see because there might be a message for you there. I'm also hearing that these kind of meditations or guidance that you. Uh, that you receive right now is divinely in um intuited it's it's divinely um how do i say this it's like a, a divine intervention or like a gift from the divine it's like it's directly channeled to you right now so the other thing i'm hearing for those of you who've chosen this card is that you don't need to seek uh assistance from outside of you right now you don't need to ask people for advice or you don't need to ask uh the those around you for to give you their opinion what you really need to do is just simply go in with in within you and you need to understand what it is that you need to hear you need to understand what it is that is waiting for you to see and um in in this allow yourself to be free and and 
allow yourself to lose your form. And what they mean by that is, um, well, what they're showing me is that you go into a meditation and you, you kind of, you're not um, constrained by the human form anymore. So you may lose your form. You may, you may lose your your sense of what um, holds you to this planet, uh, or how you identify to this planet, uh, to this world. And in doing so, you're going to allow yourself to be free and to kind of float in an in in the ethers of where this information lies that you need to hear. Um, I'm hearing here that this information that you need to hear is within you already. And it's like a lightning strike that it entered you at some moment, um, as if you were struck by lightning. And this has happened already. Um, th there is information within you that you were born with, or that is innate to you. But that is not what they're referring to. They're referring to a, a droplet of information that came to you in the last while, I can't tell you when it was because it's very varied for uh, the the viewers of this uh, option. But what I can tell you is that it lies within you, and you simply need to dream and to to actually wander in your mind, like to simply wander, like um, what it would be, and and it will be shown to you. And within that comes a a sense of well, a kind of playfulness, an easiness, a lightness, uh, a, um, you know, being able to access a lighter form of you. So it's not, there's no heaviness, so there's no worry, there's no uh, concern, there's no uh, feeling of, of fear at all. The energy is, is very light, it's very playful, it's almost childlike, it's almost like a baby who is sitting and there and playing with some toys and um, it's all about discovery and curiosity and just delight, simple joy. And this is the uh, this is what you have before you. The other thing I'm hearing is that when you are in the space, this meditative space where you will be able to access this information, um, you will be supported uh, by the elements and you will be supported by the forces um, that surround you, the positive forces that uh, offer you the support of healing and, and just, um, offer you information. And you need to actually allow that to be. You need to allow yourself to free fall through that and know that you will be supported. And the other thing I want to emphasize here is that this information is almost channeled to you. It'll be brought to you. It'll be, it's like a divine intervention, as they've said. And it's for you to simply allow this to come through to you. Okay, so that is the message that I'm getting for those of you who've chosen the second deck today. Um, it's not um, it's not anything particularly concrete, and uh, but it is, it, yeah, it's, there's nothing concrete about this feeling at all. It's a very light, floaty type of feeling. And that's perhaps the kind of week that you will have as you go ahead, or perhaps that's what your the next couple of weeks will be for you. All right, so thank you very much for those of you who've come by and chosen the second option. I'm going to move on to the third option now. And we are asking, what is it that those of you who've come here today need to hear? What is it that those of you who've chosen the option three need to hear right now? Okay, so um, I have the rat here, and um, this card, actually, I've used this deck once before on this channel, and uh, this card came up then as well. I think it was last year, in 2018, just before Christmas, uh, that I might have used this card. So we have the card of the rat, and um, I want to bring this up to you here. So this is a Chinese oracle, and the... Um, the meaning of the rat is different than in the Western society. It's it's also different in, in yeah. It's basically the, the rat has a, a different meaning or different value in the Asian cultures or traditions. So what I'm hearing here is that 
you're about to, I feel like this is a message that I delivered last week already, or I felt, I feel like I've delivered this message already. Um, but um, it's as if you're ready to, to take off. It's as if you're ready to, to pounce. It's, a, it's as if you have the, the, the um, you've been preparing really hard or you've been waiting really long to be able to do something and now is the time to do it okay so they are saying to me regardless of what is going on around you regardless of the fact that you might be hearing that there are astrological influences that should would prevent you from taking action right now or should prevent you or warn you from prevent from taking action they're saying to me right now that you've been preparing for this for a really long time and it's time for you to take that leap of faith and it's time for you to move ahead and just simply do it just do it um, it's been, it's time to do it. You have everything that you need. You have all the skills and you have all that you, all the work that you've done, all this preparation that you've done is, is pushing you to take this leap right now and do it because you are the master of your destiny and you are the one who decides when it is, when is something is right for you, regardless of Mercury being in retrograde or whatever anyone else says. You may be advised not to, to uh, actually take a leap right now or not to act at, at this moment. But you're, you've been, but this card is saying to you, yes, go ahead, go ahead and do what it is that you've been waiting to do that you actually have not given yourself the permission to do or that you've been uh, afraid to take, where you've been afraid to take action. Um, right now the time is right. Now is the time for you to actually act upon this. Um, the other thing that they're telling me with regard to this card is that, yes, you may not feel certain and yes, you may not feel ready. And in fact, when you take that leap of faith, it will be fine. But along the way, you may find that it will not be fine. But they want you to do it anyway. And they want you to know that it will resolve and that part of the um, the the bumps uh, along the way that you will encounter is part of that journey that they want you to, to take. It, you need to be able to do this, to overcome this. And the time is, is ready, it's right now. And it is, it will not be um, as ready as it is now, right? And so what they are saying is that you may decide to wait a little and to prepare a little and that, you know, it'll be better later on because you will have more knowledge or you will have more financial resources or you will just be a little bit more courageous. But what they are saying is that you will still need to be, you will still need to face those uh, um, blockages or those, um, um, what is this? It's like bumps on the road, you know, you'll still need to uh, maneuver uh, around them, around these these bumps and these, these um these potholes it's almost like i'm looking at you uh riding a motorbike on this pot on this uh on this uh on this boat on this road sorry and there's like a lot of potholes that you need to to drive around but what they're saying is that whether you set off on your journey now or whether you set off on your journey later when you have more money or you have more savings or you have you have uh, you know you you're stronger you've worked out for a month and you feel stronger or whether you, you're feeling just more courageous it's not going to matter because the road is still going to be the same um you're still going to have those potholes there so whatever you do is it's just an illusion that whatever you you saying to yourself where, you, where you're saying to yourself, no, I still need to do that and I still need to do this and because I'm not ready as yet, is something that you are telling yourself and it's not actually uh, what is true. It is not actually what is, uh, what, is, what is irrelevant to you right now. So as far as you taking the step, so take the step anyway. Um, and yes, you will still need to encounter those bumps along the way, but you will be fine at doing so. And those are, but having doing that is an important part of the the value of this of this journey that you are taking. So that is what I'm hearing here now. I'm also hearing that you are guided and you are uh, supported through this. And um, I'm hearing that that all these rats that are in this in this in this p p picture here, all these. Um, these, yeah, all these rats, sorry, let me just get that into focus for you. Okay, so what I mean, yeah, what, what I'm hearing here is that all of them represent something in you, um, which, which has gotten you ready to be able to take this action. And I feel like I might have said this before. Um, yeah, but it's, it feels to me like 
you have more than you need right now to take this action and you can take this leap and you can actually um, jump into the unknown or, or go forth, you know, because whether you, you, you think you know it already or or not, it's still going to be, it's still going to unfold in a way that is different from what you believe it will, how it, you believe it will unfold. It's going to, there are going to be some surprises along the way for which you cannot prepare yourself. And so just go ahead and do it. And once you've gotten this behind you, once you're on your way, once you actually in your in your path, on your path, I mean, uh, on your way to where it is that you need to go to, you'll feel a whole lot better than you're feeling right now. So the advice here is simply to take that action. Don't hesitate and don't wait until you wait, until the conditions are perfect. Simply take that action right now. So, so that's your message for those of you who've come by today and have chosen this deck here. Um, yeah, there's a feeling that I have that there is another card that needs to come through from this deck, but I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do that, actually. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle again. This seems to be like something else that wants to come through from here. Okay, so I've gotten the rooster here. I'm just going to hear what needs to be said here. Um... Because I've been, I don't usually do this, but I've been guided to pull another card from this deck for you today. So uh, I just thought I'd go with it and see what it is that you need to hear. Okay, so this card talks about, uh, there is a part of you, right, that is that you've forgotten, that you've forgotten how talented you are and how capable you are and how able you are in every respect. And this is something that's hidden within you already. So it's in you, even with uh, you waiting to take this perch of, uh, of this leap of faith, it's within you and you need to simply go ahead and actually just be yourself, just uncover yourself or recover yourself and, and be proud of yourself and be feel free to to do what you're guided to do what you feel drawn to doing uh don't let it hold you back you know um make those choices make those bold choices that you've been avoiding making and just go right ahead and do that um the other thing i'm hearing here is that in your current situation you are lacking the confidence that you need to be able to do the things to to just be able to go ahead and this may be a hindrance not just in terms of a goal that you need to reach but it may be a hindrance in other areas of your life as well and uh this is something that you need to work on and the way in which they want you to work on it is to rediscover who you are rediscover the um rediscover yourself when you were without inhibitions rediscover that part of you that was free and happy and just able to go ahead and so go back to a moment in your life when you felt most powerful. And that might be for some of you when you were three and for others of you when you were 11 or at, at various stages of your life at any time, actually. Uh, but it, it was a moment when you felt the best and you felt the most powerful. And take it from there. Draw your strength from that part of you because that part of you exists and is still a part of you that, is, that cannot be changed and can be, cannot be taken away from you. And sometimes you may just forget that that part of you exists, but it's still within you and you simply need to access that in order to go forth again. So that was your message for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck here. And um, yeah, I thank you all for coming by and I hope this has been helpful for you. And I'm wishing you all a very wonderful, abundant week ahead and um, many blessings and yeah, blessings abound from Kismet Rising. Lots of love to you all. Bye-bye.